Hello, hello. How is everybody today? Welcome to this post solstice Sunday and um, just ah, it has been quite the, I think, intense energies for a lot of people the last couple of days. I have been getting messages um, from followers and clients like, oh my gosh, the trigger level is way, way, way high and what's going on and all of that. So today we're just going to do, I think, a really calming meditation and just kind of to help everybody come into center, come into your heart space and just allow that energy of allowance to um, just kind of soften everything. So if you're watching this live or on the replay, I invite you to share this out. I appreciate it. And I'm going to share really quickly and then we will get started. Hello, whoever just jumped on. I'm just sharing this out in a couple of places and then we're gonna get started with another really kind of softening the energy um, activation. So here we are. And if you are tuning in, let me know where you are tuning in from and if there's any area of support that you would like to um, have brought into the transmission today. So I had just mentioned that I've been getting a lot of messages about just being extra triggered and having more kind of static come up lately than usual. So if there's any, I'm gonna do a softening the energy transmission on that today, but if there's anything that you'd like me to be uh, infuse in the um, in the energies as we're working with them, please feel free to leave a comment and I would be more than happy to add that in. So I'm just sharing this to my page and we're live now. Okay. And again, please feel free to share out with your group and your tribe, whoever um, you think would benefit from having some, you know, just softening, lovely, light filled uh, energy today. And uh, if you're just hopping on, if you feel like uh, popping in the comments, anything you'd like some support on in today's transmission, please feel free to put that in there. I will add it to there. Um, so the solstice energy. I think that the whole week from the full moon until the solstice was just kind of building. And starting a couple of days ago, this real push to just drop everything and rest and just take it easy. The world is not gonna go on ahead without you, but the importance of self-care, the importance of just tuning into that voice within and following your uh, intuition on how best to navigate the energies where you're utilizing the, um, the available or the, the available, you know, uptick of positivity while also um, not taking on any added stuff. So we're gonna, you know, in today's transmission, really, ref um, hi, Dan, uh, Dion, sorry. <laughs> you know, we're really gonna infuse this energy with softening, with peace, and with really clearing out your field. So, um, you know, the more sensitive, hey, George, the more sensitive we all are to energy, the easier it is to kind of want to bring everybody with us and lift everybody up, which is great, which is beautiful, but sometimes that can also deplete us if we're doing too much for everybody else and not taking time for ourselves. So um, those of you who are watching, hi, uh, feel free to add into the comments anything that you would like, maybe some support on today. Um, in the softening, in the bringing peace to, in the, you know, just really allowance is the word I keep hearing, you know, just allow, trust, open, and um, soften, soften, soften. And when the world feels like it's going really fast and we're getting kind of pulled at from all sides and there's triggers happening, um, it's just usually a really good time to pause, take a step back, and just find that peace and that that 
presence that we have within. So any comments? Anybody want any extra? <laughs> You're just vibrationally sending it because the energy just kind of went whoo. <laughs> <laughs> with the with the intention of yeah I want some of that I need some peace right now <sighs> I'm just tuning in here and a little light language wants to come through so if you haven't watched any of my light language before uh, or listened to it I should say it's really designed to bypass the conscious mind and go straight into uh, the places that need support, whether that be in your causal body, your central channel, your chakras, wherever the extra light and love is needed, the light language goes automatically to that spot and works just for you. So even if there's a whole group of us listening and I'll listen to the light language too on replays, what I get from it is going to be different from what other people get from it. So that's the beauty of it. It's just the frequency that we all need at the time for our highest and best good and with ease and grace and uh, the transmissions run until complete. Hmm. So just arriving in this now moment, letting go of the day, so far letting go of the rest of the day and just arriving here in this time this place and acknowledging your oneness with the mo with the moment letting go of linear time letting go of your to-do list just breathing in the sun from the top of your head and agreeing with your oneness with all that is i am one with all of creation I am one with the light at the center of our cosmic universe. I am one with the heart of all creation. And breathing up Mother Earth from the bottoms of our feet, agreeing and aligning with our oneness with her. Rooting everyone in to their anchor point on the earth now. I'm seeing a download coming in for everybody of trust on another level is what I'm hearing. It's like we're all working toward this PhD in trust. <laughs> and if we weren't, if we hadn't gotten it yet, it's like, okay, it's time to really trust how we've never trusted before. So the codes that are coming in right now are for softening into trust, expanding into trust, and really um, lining up and merging with our higher self. So just like the balance of the masculine and the feminine, the light left and right hand sides of the brain that we can balance with our higher self as we do with these other polarities. So yes, we have our physical personality, conscious self, and we can merge with the eternal aspect of us that has been around for an ancient amount of time and live in harmony and unity um, with that highest aspect of ourselves and trusting that is a big piece of of the puzzle i think just really allowing the softness and to be in that aligned action repose aligned action rest <laughs> Ahom, ayo, 
Oi, oi, shui, oi, oi, ti, oi, oi, ti, oi, oi, ti, oi, oi, ti, oi. And just allowing these frequencies to open your heart, open the spaces in your mind that are ready to expand, decalcifying the pineal and opening that third eye and really just spreading the light through every single particle of your body, every single nanoparticle, every wave. I was she I do I do I did it 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 I know when I'm in the middle of a meditation and I kind of lose where I start and where the air, where I stop and the air starts, I'm in that like zero point, beautiful, blissed out meditation and how amazing that is for our bodies and our minds and our hearts to just hit that still point of knowing and agreeing with our oneness knowing and agreeing with our light, knowing and agreeing with the truth of the magnificence of our beings. There's another code coming in right now, uh, specifically for life purpose, for specifically for um, lining up with the mission that you came here. And uh, if you're watching my this and you're a follower of my work, I guarantee you probably have a really big mission. Uh, I work on a very deep level and um, people who are really interested in activating their mission here really um, stand out and they come forward and they say yes. Yes, I know I have a big job to do, and I just want to acknowledge everyone's work to get to the point to where you can step into this, you know, place inside of yourself where you're opening to this mission on a deeper level and really aligning with the, that heart desire that you came in, not to be whole, wholeheartedly whole, but to shine your brilliance and shine your light and help to, you know, amplify the frequency on the planet right now, amplify humanity, amplify our earth. A home, a home. I wish you would, I 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 I would, I would, I would, I Oi, ai, oi, ai, oh, 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 I wish I don't have to that. I did it at the good. I do that. I did it at the good. I did it at the good. I should that. I did it at the good. 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 knowing that you are going to receive what you are meant to receive from that. Sometimes you'll feel tingles or hot or cold. Other times you might not feel anything. Whatever experience is fine. All these frequencies are for your highest and best good. Divine flow, divine freedom. So releasing everything that is not yours to carry. Breathing in that highest aspect of yourself. Breathing in the truth of who you really are. Breathing in that awareness of the light in your being. Just breathing in all of you. Calling all of you back into you throughout all time and space. Throughout all dimensions and planes fully recalibrated to the highest vibrational frequency of love and light 
And simultaneously, as all of these parts are coming back to you, any place where you've given your power away, any place where it hasn't been safe for you to be who you are, just calling all of that back, calling all of that back, calling all of that back. And as it's calling back into you, really disconnecting you from any vows, promises, contracts, agreements that are no longer serving your highest and best good, really freeing you from any energy that is not your own, that is preventing you from being the vibrationally sovereign being that you came here to be. So really just letting all of those go. <sighs> Seeing them coming off. There's like grays and kind of really dark kind of cloud blues, just leaving your field with love, with gratitude, with thanks for the lessons that they brought you, with forgiveness. See these parts go. See them go. They're no longer serving your highest and best good anymore. It's okay to say goodbye to them. It's okay to let them go. And all of that that's being released is just... Mm, it's almost, you know, it's just that recycling energy as we heal, as we just really let go of what's no longer serving us. Whatever we're letting go of is really recycling and helping to heal the whole. It's giving the whole a healing on, you know, the areas that we're brave enough to look at. Anyone who takes their inner work seriously and holds themselves accountable is, you know, it's, 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 it's transformation is not always pretty. And when we're okay with finding out what we don't know, what we don't know, when we're okay to see where our blind spots are and to really be a witness with them and holding them and just not seeing any of it as right or wrong, good or bad, just part of our experience and part of our journey and part of what has um, you know occurred in our lives to get us to where we are today. Uh, um, la Beautiful. So just a little bit of static left over. I'm just kind of fanning the energy. It's almost like this sacred wind coming in and just clearing your aura out, bringing in peace, bringing in softness, bringing in safety. It's safe to shine. It's safe to be who you came here to be. It's safe to show up for your mission. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe to soften. It's safe to receive. It's safe to open. It's safe to be free. Mm. Okay, that feels nice. So whether you're watching this now or on the replay, I'm going to make sure that this uh, transmission runs until complete for your best and highest good. So um, I'm getting for most people that's three days. Some might integrate quicker, some might take a little longer, it just all depends. And just calling in your healing time, your guides, the ascended masters that you most connect to or you connect to the most, I should say. Hmm. The archangels of the north, south, east, and west. Up above, up below, just really holding you. Allowing that flow and that softness that aligned action to be really balanced. 
with resting and taking care of yourself and letting your cup fill up. When our cups are full, it's so much easier to give. You know, we give from that place of joy and fulfillment um, instead of if we're running close to empty and then we're, you know, giving what's left of the gas tank. Uh, nobody wins. <laughs> and I can definitely speak into that from personal experience. Mm. And I'm being shown your Don Tien. So that's the area two fingers down below your belly button. You know, br really bringing in that power center. So whenever you are doing breathing exercises, if you want to enhance what we did today a little bit, just kind of breathe in this activation energy right into that um, sacral um, uh, chakra area and just breathing in the color orange, breathing in, just being really rooted in your personal uh, sovereign vibrational field and just seeing it's almost like an orb of light or a sun just gathering light gathering light and and the heat and the warmth just kind of spreading out to your whole field spreading out to the room you're in spreading out to the house you're in spreading out to your street and your neighborhood and just you can expand out as far as you want to go and just give everything in your toric field just a big hug of warm soft golden light hmm. that's nice well i hope everyone has had a wonderful solstice weekend and it's been a pleasure to uh, be here with you today and share in some just calling in the softness, calling in the power of our light and our higher self to really merge with some of the dense energies that have been ha that have happened, especially over the last couple of days and just clearing out that denseness, clearing out that static, clearing out what no longer serves. So uh, if you found this helpful today, feel free to share it out, uh, like, comment, and uh, I'll be responding to those throughout the week. I'm always here to have uh, questions answered and definitely feel free to shoot me a PM if you ever have anything that you wanna take uh, a little deeper that you don't necessarily wanna comment publicly about. And uh, once again, I'm Tanya James. I'm a transformational catalyst, divorce doula, and psychic oracle. And I uh, am very uh, grateful and honored to have spent this time with you today. And I hope you have a beautiful, amazing rest of your Sunday. And I will see everyone next week. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, George. Bye, everyone. <laughs>